In this video, we are going to discuss about the phylogenetic system of classification in taxonomy and systematic botany in plant morphology and taxonomy of angiosperm. Phylogenetic system. Phylogeny means it going to deal with the evolution. So, and it is also based on the Charles Darwin origin of species which gives the way for phylogenetic system of classification. Okay. So, the publication of Origin of Species in 1859 by Charles Darwin has given stimulus for the emergence of phylogenetic system of classification. One of the earliest phylogenetic system of classification of the entire plant kingdom was jointly proposed by the two German botanists Adolf Engler 1844-1930 and Karl A. Prantl in 1849-1893. to 1893. So, the Engler and Prantl system of classification, it is the one of the oldest and the earliest that is now it is an oldest one but it is the earliest phylogenetic system of classification. So, they published the classification in a monumental work, Die Nature Lichen, Flas and Familian in 23 volumes. So, 1887 to 1915, okay. So, according to this, the classification of embryophyta that is siphonogamy. So siphonogamy is sub that is subdivided into subdivisions gymnospermy and subdivision angiospermy. So the angiosperm is divided into class monocotyledon and in another class dicotyledon which includes 11 orders and 45 families in the class monocotyledon and in dicotyledon it includes 44 orders. So, it is divided that is the dicotyledon is further divided into archeclamidae that is A petali, absence of petals and metaclamidae, sympetale. So, the calyx and corolla are present here that is here A petalus means presence of petals and they are free. Sympetalus means fused like that okay. So, not they are that is absence and uh, present not. So, A, A petalus means Free, free petals and sympetalus means fused. So, corolla polypetalus, so free petals. Perian single or double includes 33 orders and 201 families. And here the corolla gamopetalus that is fused petals. Perian in two worlds includes 11 orders and 57 families. So, this is Adolf Engler and he, uh, he is Coral A. Prantl. So, in this system of classification, the plant kingdom was subdivided into 13 divisions. So, first 11 divisions are Thallophyta. The 12th division is Embryophyta, A. Siphone gamy. That is, A. Siphone gamy means with the plants with embryo but no pollen tubes. That is, Bryophytes and Pteridophytes. And the 13th division is Embryophyta, Siphone gamy. Plants with embryo and pollen tubes. So, they are included in the seeded plants. What we have discussed here, no? So, in this, uh, this, this one only they had said. Okay. So, author concrust system of classification. Author concrust 1919 to 1992. An eminent American taxonomist proposed the phylogenetic system of classification of flowering plants based on a wide range of taxonomical characters including anatomical and phytochemical characters of phylogenetic importance. So, here in this system of phylogenetic, they had discussed about the anatomy and the phytochemical characters of the plant plus the phylogenetic system which gives the importance, importance in this system. So, he has presented his classification in 1968 in his book title the evolution and classification of flowering plants. So, in this book, he had he had published, he had presented 1968, that is the evolution and classification of flowering plants. His classification is broadly based on the principles of phylogeny that finds the acceptance with major contemporary authors. So, the his principle is principles of phylogeny. So, he is author Conquest. And Conquest classified the angiosperm into two main classes, Magnoliopsida, that is dicotyledon, Liliopsida is monocotyledon. So, six subclasses, 64 orders, 320 families and about 1,65,000 species in Magnoliopsida. Whereas in Liliopsida, there are five subclasses, 19 orders, 66 families and about 50,000 species. Conquest 
system of classification also could that is also could not persist for a long time because the system is not very useful for identification and cannot be adapted in herbaria due to its high phylogenetic nature so you can see the diagrammatic representation of magnoliopsida and liliopsida this is the class magnoliopsida and subclass and how here the plants is that is how the classes has been distributed okay and this is liliopsida here that these are the subclasses that is liliaceae and gingivaceae that is uh, aced and that is uh, aracaceae they're like that okay these are the families and these are the families are seen in this magnoliopsida and liliopsida hope you understand the topic if you have any doubts post the doubts in the comment box if you want to watch the video in tamil i had given the link in the description box you can go and watch it give a thumbs up share subscribe to science easy tech channel